Hi everyone, welcome to Colouring with Kate. Thank you for joining me today. So in this video, as requested, um, a few of you were happy to see me demonstrate the use of these um, Spectrum Noir brush pens. So these are the tricolour. Now I didn't, I didn't even know that these were out, but I happened to be in Boundary Mills, which is a store um, near Lancashire in the UK, and they have a few art products, especially Spectrum Noir products, and um, I saw these and I thought, yeah, they look very interesting, and yeah, they were they were a good price as well as you can see there, forty one ninety nine, and so I thought I would purchase them. So I do have the. Let me just show you. So in this big case here, just put that to the side. In this Spectrum Noir case, I do have the. Excuse the Velcro, right? I do have the set of um, Spectrum Noir, um, what they called the Tri Blend. So these are Tri Blend, and um, I've got the essentials and the other sets. I think there's two sets that you've got, two sets of 24, I'm not 100% sure, but you've got the light range of the shade basically the light the mid and the dark and so um whoops got everything falling everywhere on this desk so i've just got this paper here so this basically is where you've got i mean this isn't marker paper so you've got a dark blend sorry a dark shade there and then a middle and i do use these these are running out a little bit though some of them especially use these um dull greens i use the greens quite a lot and then you've got the lightest here so yeah this is meant to be like a blend that you can use and i do find blending quite challenging with um alcohol markers so these are really good for that the only issue is because you've got a third of each color i think you've got just a small amount haven't you it does it they will run out quicker so um these i do really like i do use them and they are nice especially if you're a beginner like me with with um you know with with um alcohol markers so this is another jade green blend as well so there's different colors in there but there are two sets in here and i think i've got a spare of one of the sets because it was on sale so yeah those are the tri blends and so these are different to the tri blends um, they're called tricolour, so I was just a bit curious about what are these like. So, yeah, let's have a look at them. So these are what you've got. It does say complete collection, and I think you've got how many? 6, 12, 18. You've got 18 colours, and um, you've got lovely names as well for each pen. So like Breaking Waves, Fresh Succulents, Dark and Stormy. Uh, heavenly hues antique delicate so some lovely colors so I'll just show you them and this is what the box looks like at the back so again it's three um, markers in one so um, I presume they will run out faster but yeah I looked on Amazon and they are the f pretty much the full price or maybe two or three pounds off you don't get much of a sale on Amazon anymore like five years ago five years ago I used to get a decent amount off like 20% off um, but these days you'll be lucky if you get 5% off which is really not a lot um, but anyway that's my little grumble there so here you go you this is what you've got so if you just look at one of the pens let's look at this one shall we so we've got it's a brush which not like the tri blend ones I've got are not brushes um, I know you can get Sorry about that again. I know you can get tri blend brushes now. I haven't got them. I've just got the, you know, the fine, fine tip, um, which which is still nice. But I think you get a better blend with brushes um, compared to you know the other tip that I've just shown you. So this one is. And it tells you here um, what the three colours in the blend are. You've got Ice Grey 6 plus Blue Grey 3 and Old China. And then this is the um, tip. Lovely brush tip, I have to say. The brush tip is really nice. Um, 
and yeah I, I do really like them so they're like a three different colors well three similar colors that blend nicely together so the colors that you get in fact in each let me just show you properly here uh, you've got like it does indicate for example blue gray on this side Prussian blue on this side and then petrol blue on this side and then I just go in the order of what it says here so blue gray first then Prussian blue and then petrol blue and I just try to blend in so for example my swatches this is what we've got I mean look at look at this there's some beautiful colors like this enchanted tint so you've got like a a really like I don't know the different shades of pink you can you can tell there and I think the blend is quite nice for some of them sand dunes deep forest antique delicate I think that's beautiful golden sunrise um lush verdant forest glade the only one that I'm not too sure about is this mystic tones one I did actually two of those this is my second attempt at a blend. So the Mystic Tones one, I'm not too... I think the middle colour is way too light for the two at the edges, but that might be just me and user error. Breaking Waves, beautiful colour blend. Fresh Succulents. Dark and Stormy is this one. Twilight Sky, Rich and Decadent. Mystic Tones I referred to earlier. Deep Sea, Sunlit Leaves, absolutely beautiful. Heavenly Hues, I think works quite nicely. Azure Horizon and Warm and Fiery. So I, I would say that these are quite good blends. This is on the Nina cardstock. So, um, you know, it's quite smooth. So it's taken the, the mark quite well, I think. So what I thought I'd do is just colour a little bit with them and on camera just to show you, you know, me using them. Um, I really like them have to be honest I've I will purchase another set I think because especially if they're on are, are on sale I don't really want to pay full price um, but I, I do really like them they, they're really nice for you know some what can I say some like embellishing certain areas and you can always go over the top with pencil if you want extra depth but I think they're lovely blends so um, I have started a picture now. This is the Spectrum Noir Spectrum Noir color color pit. Spectrum Noir. Start again. Spectrum Noir um, paper cardstock that I purchased. I think there's about ten sheets or something. I got it off Amazon. I think it was four ninety nine. I wanted to try it out because um, it's nice to have paper that's that will work well with alcohol markers because I want to get into using my alcohol markers a bit more. Um, alongside my pencils so you can see that I've actually tried one here which was the sunlit leaves so I am going to pick that and I'm going to do it on camera do I have to tell you that um, I am a novice when it comes to using alcohol markers I am a complete novice so don't laugh at me all right you can laugh just don't tell me about it um, so I have grass leaf green and lime green so grass is the darkest I mean it does show you on the little bit there the color is darker so you do have a little bit of an indication of the colors that you're going to have so all I do I'll bring you in a little bit more is start with the dark color And then quickly work quite quickly then I've got my mid color and I just go over the you know the last color and then sort of blend it out or bring you know continue the color with the second continue the coloring I guess Gosh, today I'm uh, finding difficulty speaking as you can tell but now lime green so you have to work quite quickly so I am going over the old colour or the previous colour should I say and then I just go over it and it is nice to colour with markers you know um, it 
once in a while for me or just as a change from pencils so that's it I think that's all right to be fair I think that's quite good um, not a problem I don't think that's that's too bad um, should we try something else now on a big area like this I wouldn't I'm not sure I would use these for two reasons one because I'm not sure if I can get a blend as good as that although if you keep if you do a bit at a time and you keep it wet hopefully that will reduce the streaking but the other main reason is I don't want these to run out too quickly so I am intending to use them on smaller areas so uh, like th this would be the biggest area like this bit here would be probably the biggest areas that I would use them on so let's have a look at the colours and I probably will do the other leaves in the same green but I want to show you some other colour blends just for this video so I'm just thinking what could I use the top bit what could I do the little house in um, something dark maybe I had a colour in my head but um, I'm not sure now what about golden sunrise shall we try that golden sunrise for the top yep yeah, so let's do that um, there we go so this is whoops, the golden sunrise one so I have salmon just looking at the colour on here yeah, so salmon, honey and moonlight. So salmon, honey and moonlight. So let's try that out now. I'm going to think I'm going to do the top bit. So let's pull this down and we will... I have to say, using the brush is really nice. But yeah, I am thinking of using sorry not using buying another set of these when these and I think you can get them in sets of three I'm sure I saw sets of three now I'm not going to do this as a just like a one you know a blend going upwards I'm going to do this going across I think so We will pop this in. I'm going to go across like this. Might look weird, but this is just like a <clears throat> a test, like a playing playing with some new supplies, and then getting in there quite quickly where the marker is wet it might show me some horrible blend lines but to try to blend the two colours together that's alright I think that's okay so yeah I don't want these to run out too quickly because I do like them and I think for smaller areas they are going to not too smaller areas but like medium small to medium areas I think they look quite quite cool let's just do these little bits here I mean they're not cheap they're not cheap but Quite a lot of things these days are not cheap though, which is rather annoying. But right, so my last colour is the get the right one hopefully this one, which is what's it called? It's called Moonlight. That's it. Right actually fun working with markers um so yeah i really like these like i said
do look around because I'm sure online um, they will be cheaper in certain places, in certain art stores than others. But I'm sure these are quite new. I've not seen them online. I actually haven't seen them online anywhere. Um, but then again, I have been quite busy, so I haven't been watching YouTube um, videos as much as I might otherwise do. So, yeah, that's that one. I might also do this little bit here with that same colour. So I'm going to keep that colour out, but I'm trying to demonstrate different colours. So I think we will do this bit possibly in a related colour. So nothing like that pink enchanted tints I think looks quite nice. So shall we, shall we use that? I think we could use that for just this bit here coming down here. So let's see if I can find that. There we go, enchanted tints. So what are you guys colouring as well? Do let me know what medium I enjoy using at the moment. Sorbet, light like mauve and rose petal. So start with sorbet. And I'm going to do this bit here at the bottom. I looked at some Copics and thought I don't use alcohol markers enough to invest in such an expensive alcohol marker. So I thought, no, I'm going to leave it. I mean, I don't really use alcohol markers too much. So things like this, I do really like, you know, where you've got the, the blends. I mean, I have got, um, I don't know if you guys know about chameleon markers I got them a long time ago a long long time ago and it was a gift to myself and so the chameleon pens are quite nice as well I do like using things like that and of course you can only use it on single sided because they are alcohol markers so this is my second colour I'm using and then I'm going to use my third colour here so you see that's a quite nice blend then again we've got to remember that this paper is quite good for alcohol markers as it is marketed I'll see if I can find the I'm going back to my second colour again now so you can colour this way well you know where you just keep changing your pens as you go along you can change the blend, I guess. And then I'm going to go to my darkest, which was the sorbet. Is it the sorbet? Oh, God, I'm using the rose petal. I'm using the wrong one, do you me? Wake up. That's the only other issue I've found, you know, that you have to make sure that you are using the right end of the pen. I've gone a bit over there, which is over the lines which isn't great but it happens so I'm going to see after I've done this bit if I can go and right, what colour should I do that I think I should just colour this bit this path in the same colour as well now you may want to find out if these actually work well on Amazon printed paper. So I think what I'll do is I'll see if I can find an Amazon printed book to try this on as well. So bear with me, I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, so I'm here with my... To show you the paper that this is, this... Let's go out a bit so you can actually see. Um, this is the paper that I bought. So, oh actually it says, look, Nina Classic Crest Card. So... Yeah, I didn't even know it was like one of these related to the Nina cardstocks. But anyway, Crafter's Companion it's called. And um, yeah, you get 16 actually and it's 216 GSM and it's ultra smooth, solar white. Um, ideal for stamping and colouring with alcohol based pens. And yeah, this was 4 and you get 16 sheets. And I wanted to try it out because... Um, 
I've always wanted a paper that's actually quite good with alcohol markers. So I think this is this is this is working really well with alcohol markers. So it's marketed for that. So um, yeah, this is the paper I'm using, and it, and it and I think it works quite well. I have to say. Um, right. So I did also say that I'm going to try out. Um, on Amazon printed paper as well because you may want to know you know how how does it work on this so what we can do is use this RJ Hampson book at the back I'm just I'm actually working on the page in here so let's get this here and should we do this little guy let's see Rather than just test it on a piece of paper, I thought if there's a coloured picture, maybe we could do that. So, why don't we use, you know, this green, the same green, and see how it looks on this Amazon printed paper. So, this is a little bit of an experiment, which we all like, don't we? Because experiments are good. So, I'm going to, I can tell straight away that this is more absorbent definitely I'm soaking up my pen All right, let's go for the second colour still working okay not so bad and then the lime green quick do try to work quickly with this so that I get so it's still wet and I get a good blend not bad not bad at all really I'm not being too careful either because um, I'm just demonstrating it if it was a actual picture I was doing I would be significantly more um, careful but um, But yeah, I'm not being particularly careful here. So yeah, I will, like I said before, be getting another set of these at some point because I really like them. Um, especially if they're on offer. If they're on offer, I'm waiting for them to be on offer so then I can actually get them another set because they're really nice and they're really good to add, you know, some, de you know, some something else to your pages I guess so yeah that's worked quite well on Amazon paper but let's use the um, you know this pink that I used here which were the enchanted tints let's use that on here so again on his wings now I'm starting with sorbet again And then the middle colour. And then last but not least, rose petal. Okay, that's that. And then, yeah, I think that's worked quite well as well. That's not... I expected it to not blend so well at all, you know, on um, Amazon printed. Now, these are... Granted, these are smaller areas, not as large. Um, but if you work fairly quickly, I believe that this would be, you know... I'm not on Sobe, I'll be around rose petal I believe it will work quite well yep quite nice right of course you're going to get bleed through to the other side because it's an alcohol marker but I'm not too not surprised by that so that's that's nice I like that um now should we try another colour on here? Um 
what about oh, i have to say i love this blend here forest this this pen here forest glade so if you wanted to try these out you could get the set of three i'm sure they come in sets of three as well now what i will do is i will link these pens um you know on amazon i mean like i said i didn't purchase them from amazon um it was actually an outlet boundary outlet where i where i saw them so if you go online to spectrum noir or crafters companion you might find them there cheaper um so these are the this is the forest glade and this is what we've we got we've got this darker one mint tea celery and gossamer never heard of that name before but you know Is that actually a colour gossamer? Because I've never heard of it, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist just because I haven't heard of it. Right, so I'm going to do my second colour here. In here, I'm just going to go over his teeth because I'll probably. They're too small anyway, right? So. Let's use a light colour, which is the Gossama. Where are we? Gossama. Um, that. I love the uh, little grey scaling on. I really like RJ Hampson's work, I have to say. Right, I'm using the mid tone here. Should I use the mid-tone? No, let's not use the mid-tone yet. Let's use the mint tea again, the top. And then the middle colour. And then the gossamer. Yeah, quite like that as well. Looks quite nice. So there we go. Um, I hope you uh, found this little demo useful. I mean, I know I haven't done loads and loads, but I hope it gives you an indication of the fact that you've got a three tone, three colour tone blend. So that's why probably they're called tri colours rather than tri blends. Because tri blends would probably just be the dark, medium, and the light, whereas these are slightly different colours that would blend nicely with each other and give you more of a more of a obvious um different colour blend I guess but they, they, they are close to each other these colours so yeah works really well on the this this actual paper this crafters companion paper that you can get on Amazon well, I got it off Amazon UK and thought I'd try it on Amazon printed paper as well, where it does actually work really well. So, yeah, what can I say? Do I recommend them? I highly recommend them. Uh, like I said, I am hoping to get another set of these at some point, because um, they, they are rather nice. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed this little short video. Until next time, guys, take care. Happy colouring. Bye.